Hello, hello. Thank you for joining me on the mat today where we focus on developing a strong and solid foundation of your core. Because the core is not just about having nice looking abs. It is really your foundation for most of your body, from your posture to housing and stabilizing your organs so they don't move all around, to also health issues. You know, if we have a weak pelvic floor, which is part of our core, this can cause many, many issues in both men and women. So today we focus on this area, using your breath to really strengthen those muscles. So whenever your mind begins to think about other things, bring it back in, dial it back to your inner strength. So we'll basically be kind of radiating from our inner strength outwards. And I know by the end of this practice, you will definitely feel it. So make sure you have some water. We don't need any props. This is all low to the ground. This is core on the floor, okay? So we shouldn't need anything else other than your yoga mat, some water, and your beautiful self. So we can get started on our backs whenever you're ready. Lying on our backs today, begin in a nice corpse position. Finding a few rounds of your breath. Allowing yourself to settle in here. Allow yourself a moment of peace before we begin working our body, making ourselves stronger. On your next breath, find gratitude, showing up for yourself today. Good job. You did it. You are here. On this next breath, maybe take the hands to the belly. Start to feel the breath radiating. Connecting to your inner strength, your inner power. On your next inhale, lift the knees up over the hips. So our shins are parallel to the mat. Extend the arms out to the sides. Inhale to keep them raised. And exhale, drop the knees to the left side. So using your core to strongly bring them back up and over to the right. We'll take two more rounds of these, so three on each side. Moving slow and with control. Slowly waking up our muscles. Finding a nice gentle twist in the lumbar spine. Beautiful. Coming back up to center and extending the legs long. Reaching the arms overhead, this time big full body stretch. And send your right leg up, nice and long, foot extended towards the ceiling. So connecting to your core, we're going to lower it about 30%. And then lower it again about halfway. And one more time, hover it right over the mat. Exhale, send it back up. We're doing three of these on each leg. Lower down about 20%. Make sure to engage here beneath the belly button halfway and a little bit over the mat. Send it back up one more time. Beautiful. Now coming into a little eagle, reclined eagle, so wrapping this right leg around the left. It's okay if they don't meet all the way. This can be a little funky lying down. We can take our hands behind our head, or we can match our legs and ravel our arms, taking three crunches. So on your exhale, bring your elbows to touch your knees. And unraveling after the third. Beautiful. Plant the feet down, getting ready for bridge. Tucking the shoulder blades underneath, palms are flat. Inhale big. Exhale, squeeze through the glutes, send hips up nice and strong. Hold here for about five breaths. Engage. Engage. 
Engage and breathe, remembering not to hold your breath at any point during this practice. If you feel the need to hold your breath, dial it back a little bit to where you can breathe. And releasing the hips down, preparing for the other side. So we extend this right leg, extend the left up. Beautiful. Find your arms wherever you can connect here. Maybe they come out to the side. That can work as well. And then we begin to lower 20%, 50. And just right above the mat, let it hover. Exhale, squeeze and send it back up. 30. Halfway. And hover. Back up last time. Beautiful. Coming into our reclined crunches. However, this feels good to you. Three crunches on the exhale. Inhale to soften. Exhale, crunch. Beautiful release. And one more breath of bridge. Take your time. Knees hip distance apart. And out breath. Send everything up. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Big belly fulls of air. Two more breaths. Squeeze and send the hips a little bit higher if you can. And on your next exhale, carefully release the hips down. Maybe find a knee circle or two. And however you would like to, maybe rock, maybe gently come up. We are meeting in all fours, tabletop. At the center of the mat. Grounding down through the palms of the hands and the tops of the feet. Finding a few breaths to reset here. Drawing the navel in. See how you can feel the abdominals here. Working to keep your spine straight and erect. And then exhale, send the hips back, child pose, reach the fingertips out. Finding a few breaths of length before we come into a little cat-cow kneeling swan-ish flow. <laughs> On your next inhale, gently raise the head, bring the knees together, coming up onto the knees, kneeling pose, hands reach high. Exhale, plant the hands round through the back for cat. Inhale, cow. Exhale, child. Inhale, back up to kneeling pose. Exhale, round. Inhale, drop the belly, lift the gaze, spread through the heart center. Exhale, child. One more time. Inhale, rise up nice and tall. Exhale, cat. Cow and child pose. Meeting back up in a neutral spine, tabletop. Really connecting to your abdominals here. Ground down through the left shin. Raise the right leg behind you, coming into tiger pose, keeping the hips nice and square. Taking your gaze up, hold here. And on your next out breath, crunch the knee in. Trying to meet your nose. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, crunch. One more time. Then keeping the right knee lifted, extend it out to the side. Extend the leg fully. Then bend the knee back in. Foot is towards the hips. Three of these. Extend. Really, really use that core. This will help you balance, stabilize. And on the third one, release the foot down to the side of the mat. 
Inhale, peel the right up, coming into a nice big twist. Hold here for a breath. Then coming into a little half moon. So turn this left foot underneath you, sweep the right to the long edge of the mat. Coming through a little side plank here, and then lift up, squeeze everything. Hold here for about three breaths. And exhale, release the right foot, coming up into a nice sturdy gate pose prep. And lift the right, the left arm over the head. Gate pose, big, big side body stretch. Coming back through our gate pose prep to turn over this right leg and coming into a low lunge. So extend the left leg behind you. Find your positioning here. And then raise up, hands come to the knees, sending the hips down and forward. Breathe. Nice and active here in the hips though. Don't just let everything hang out. We're building strength, we're building power. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, twist to the right side, really reaching through the fingers. Nice expansion in the body. Inhale, take the palms together. And exhale to deepen your twist, placing the elbow on the outside of the knee. Breathe, let yourself deepen. Last breath. Release stagnant energy on the exhale. And inhale, back over the right leg, tucking the back toes to come into a side lunge, Skandasana. Left foot is flexed back at the face. We're lifting our heart center up, nice and tall. Fingertips can come down to the mat. But for an extra challenge, using that core that we're stabilizing, that we're strengthening, let your fingertips float off. Use that core to hold yourself in position. And then reaching down, coming into Skanda, I mean Skandasana, Malasana in the middle of the mat. You can see my brain's a little tired. Coming into our squat here. Take your time to find your place. Before taking a few breaths, we'll be here for a little bit. Make sure you're comfy if you need a block or a blanket underneath your hips. Finding a few breaths to really allow your groins to open. Notice what you feel here. Observe where the mind goes. And on your next in-breath, release the hands, reaching the left up overhead, finding a big, big stretch. Breathing, sending the hips down into the mat still. Staying here or taking this as a little half bind, reaching the left arm behind the back, trying to grasp fingers. Exhale, release wherever you are. Come back to center. And turn back into our tabletop so we can turn, we can do the other side. I'm going to face this way so I don't get lost to you here. And we begin. Inhale, kneeling pose, reach up. Exhale, cat. Inhale, cow. And child pose, reach. Two more rounds here. Find your own pace, your own sense of rhythm. It's what this is all about. Mm -hmm. 
And we meet again in tabletop. Whenever you make your way there, no need to rush. No need to rush. And then the left foot comes up, tiger pose, gripping the mat with the fingers. Take two breaths here. Feeling the stretch in the front of the belly. And exhale, crunch. Shining the heart forward on the in-breath and rounding on the out-breath. Keeping the knee lifted, we turn it out to the side, squeeze through those glutes, and exhale, extend the leg. Trying to keep your hips in a stable position can be very difficult. Good practice. And on your third one, plant the left foot. Inhale, peel the left arm up. Big twist. A chance to check in, to reset, to take what you need. Beautiful. And preparing for our little half moon, we sweep that leg over here. A little modified side plank. And then lifting up. Squeezing, squeezing, holding, taking your gaze up to the ceiling if you can. Yep, working through those stabilizer muscles. You got this. One last breath. Then plant that left foot, reaching up, gate pose prep, and gate pose. Right fingertips are extended overhead as you're peeking under your shoulder. Big breath. Exhale through our prep. And as we come down into our low lunge, this time the left leg is in front. When you find your square hip position, reach the hands up to the knee. Allow yourself to really sink down low. We're expressing all of the energy out here. We're moving it away. Connecting deep to our root chakra, our solar plexus chakra. And with intention, on your next inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, twist to the left, big, big twist, keeping this knee in towards the center. Inhale, palms meet, and exhale, placing the elbow to help yourself twist a little deeper, ring out the spine, getting the fluids moving, even though we're focused on our core and our, our pelvic floor, there's so much else at work here. Last breath, and return back to center. Tucking that back foot, lifting up, skandasana, right toes are flexed back at the face. Find some stillness here, really drawing the navel in. Planting the fingertips to help you kind of crab walk into the middle of the mat here. Sinking the booty down. Big, big malasana. Maybe noticing we're a little bit more open at this point of our practice. Maybe not. Maybe we're still a little tight. That's okay. Find some softness. See where you can soften for these first few breaths where you can allow yourself to be in this moment, right here, right now. And 
on your next in breath, reaching the right arm up. And giving yourself the optional half bind of a hug, if you did on the other side. Still sinking the hips down low. And releasing whenever it calls to you. Planting that booty down, extending the legs into a nice big straddle, flexing the feet, take a moment to arrive, whatever that means to you. Active in the quadriceps, active in the calves, helping yourself to flex the feet. Maybe we have a slight bend in the knees. And take a few breaths, slowly extending through the spine as you fold forward. Slight movements, still breathing easy. Lifting the head back up. Coming into a nice side stretch, reaching this right arm for the right foot as you send the left overhead, gazing up at the ceiling, trying to track your hand with the eyes. Still rooting down with the set bones, trying to extend, create as much space as you can. Maybe you can reach the foot, maybe not. Breathing. Wherever you are. Coming back up on your exhale, taking the hands in front of the chest, interlacing the fingers, taking them over to that right foot, in front and over to the left. Taking this nice, like mill churning pose, still active in the core here, come on. Getting one last bit of strength in our practice today. Moving the energy out of those hips and we make sure to reverse this motion, go the other way, making the arms as big or as small as you want. Coming back through center to extend the right arm overhead. Big happy breaths. Happy that you're here. That you're here today. That you're here on the mat. That you're here for yourself. Finding your last loving breath, and then raising back up. Taking the feet in towards the hips, finding a nice, easy seat. Ending our practice with breath awareness. If easy seat is not your desired position, please change it now. Find anywhere that allows you to feel more comfortable. where we can close the eyes or soften the gaze and meet that place within, that inner self, the inner self that knows. This inner self we were trying to connect with and let, let out, let it shine. Breathing deep into the belly.
getting the full expression of the diaphragm as the diaphragm is also a part of your abdominal muscles. And on this next breath, take the deepest breath you've taken all day. Ready? And for these next few moments, continue to breathe at your natural rhythm. Observe your mind and your body. As I thank you for honoring yourself today, for showing up, and for allowing me to practice alongside you. I look forward to the next time I meet you here on the mat.